Good afternoon, everyone. So I've had these headphones from iJoy, the logo, or actually the brand that might actually be called Logo. I've had them for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I've been using them and loving them. They look sort of like Beats. I think like the first generation wireless Beats. They're Bluetooth. They have FM radio. And I did not know it, but they also have a micro SD slot in the headset so that you can just listen to music right off your micro SD card, which I really love. This way I don't have to kill the battery on my phone. So, the bass is thumping. Not that I'm a big bass fan, though when the drums are going, I do like it, especially in songs like uh, Benny Goodman's Sing Sing Sing. The, the boom ba dum ba dum ba dum ba boom, ba boom. Awesome. Uh, they really sound great. For $15.99, I can't imagine you getting a better set of Bluetooth headphones. I prefer cans, you know, over the ear headphones. I'm not that thrilled with the comfort, but I do have a nice pair of pillowy cushions for another headset that I never actually wound up using, so I'm probably gonna try them on here and see if that improves things. After about an hour of listening, they start to mush in on your ears a little bit. So that's the one negative on these, but it's a minor, minor negative. And like I say, replacing these cushions, I think will fix that issue without a problem. I probably could have used these as the mic, but of course I'm using my Rode Smart Lav at the moment. You can see it right here. Uh, it's a great little headphone if you don't have a lot of cash and don't mind not having the cool brands. They sound great. And if you lose these or the dog eats them or you leave them on the train, whatever, they're actually even somewhat noise canceling because they're over the ear. They don't have active noise cancellation, of course, but they're loud enough and uh, blocking out the sound because of the over-the-ear design enough that the passive sound cancellation works pretty well. I've ri you, ridden the subway with them here in New York and been able to hear my music without a problem. And I'm a rock and roll guy. I don't listen to hip-hop. I don't listen to uh, EDM. In fact, those make me want to put ice picks in my ear. Sorry, you know, you listen to whatever you want to listen to. I'm a rock and roll guy. Although I do listen to bluegrass and country. In fact, I even play the mandolin. But that's got nothing to do with this. Anyway, like I say, for $15.99, you cannot go wrong with these headphones. You could probably even change this band and get like a, a, a replacement Beats headband and really make these look like beats i mean they look pretty close to old beats you know obviously the logo saying i joy is a dead giveaway but you know so i would definitely give these a solid eight out of ten sound quality is great battery life is great uh plenty of bass the range is fantastic for Bluetooth headphones, they really sound incredible. And, you know, they also include a wire, so if you run out of juice, you can still use them. In fact, I should probably test using them as a microphone with the wire plugged in, as well as just via Bluetooth, although that's not as good, in my opinion. Although Bluetooth has come a long, long way. So I think I've rambled on long enough about these headphones. Like I say, Bluetooth, FM radio, micro SD slot, so you can listen to your music off your micro SD card so you don't need a signal from anything and you don't have to kill the battery on your phone. It pairs like that. In fact, I even have it paired to my uh, Amazon Echo. Uh, well, I have the Echo Dot, you know, the little hockey puck one, and works great. 
uh, don't really seem to lose any signal. I've gone a couple of rooms away and still maintained the signal. So all in all, really, really nice headphones. They look pretty good. I mean, you know, they're not, they don't have branding. I actually, my favorites are Sennheisers, but you know, those are definitely not on a budget. Those are hundreds and you know, although you can get a pair of, uh, I think the 429s, I think that's what they were. And they're over the ear headphones and they're 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and they sound great. I think they only have 40 millimeter drivers, which to be honest, I think that's what these are also. Let's see. I don't even know if it says it anywhere on here. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. Doesn't even say what size the driver is on this. Not that it matters. They sound great. And for $15.99, great bargain. I highly recommend them if you need a set of headphones and you want Bluetooth or you want just an all-in-one solution where you can just listen to your own music because it does have a pretty good mp3 player in it I haven't tried flak files with it which if it does flak files I will really love these so I think that's more than enough of me jabbering on incessantly and singing the praises of these I got these off of Amazon but I'm sure you can get them in a million other places. Have a great day. Bye from the Mad Mohawk. Gway Gway, that's me. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber for more videos like this. And on filmmaking and we play games now on this channel since YouTube has done all the nonsensical things they've done. Making, having multiple channels without a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of viewed video. Uh, makes it very problematic. So I've been putting everything on this one channel. Have a great night. Bye for now from the Mad Mohawk. Gwe Gwe, that's me. Onagi Wahi.